Preterm births is one of the biggest challenges in obstetrics. It causes leading cause of newborn death and long-term disability. One of the strongest warning signs of preterm birth is a short cervix. When on a transvaginal scan in the middle of pregnancy, the cervix measures 25 mm or less. Researchers have pulled data from seven high-quality randomized controlled trials to answer the important question. If a woman is pregnant with one baby, has a mid-trimester cervical length of 25 mm or less and no previous spontaneous preterm birth, can vaginal progesterone reduce the risk of early delivery and serious problems of the baby? In these studies, women were randomly assigned to receive either vaginal progesterone or placebo starting between 18 and 24 weeks and continued till about 36 weeks. When the results were combined, the message was clear. Vaginal progesterone reduced the risk of equipping birth or before 34 weeks by around one third and also lowered the risk of very early birth before 33 weeks. The benefits extended to babies. There were fewer cases of respiratory distress syndrome, fewer babies with low birth weight under 1,500 grams and fewer admissions to the neonatal intensive care unit. Overall, the serious neonatal crisis was cut by about 30 to 40%. In these trials, vaginal progesterone did not increase maternal complications, congenital anomalies, or childhood neurodevelopmental problems when followed up. Side effects were usually mild, such as local vaginal discharge. So what does it mean? It means that offering progesterone vaginally when cervix is 25 millimeter or less is a low-cost scalable strategy that can prevent substantial number of preterm births.